the Commonwealth. Many of you know who is the Commonwealth or who are member states of the Commonwealth. Recently, at the Royal Commonwealth Club, they were able to organize what is called the Nkabom Project. The Nkabom Project is an excellent example of young people coming together to explore new ideas and making a real difference. In this forum, young people are able to arrange and develop an agendas, holding discussions on the principal issues and coordinating logistics as well. Important themes such as good governance, networking for development and sustainable livelihood. As we are well aware, the Commonwealth at the moment is of young people. The majority of the Commonwealth, 1.8 billion, are under the age of 25. Ben Television Sky Channel 148, we are here at the Royal Commonwealth Society or the Commonwealth Club waiting for Her Majesty the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. My name is Norbert Mbukuto, um, I'm a journalist from Congo and I live in Wales now. Now tell us, what is your view about the Commonwealth? Um, I think that is um, a very powerful idea for me because you know we are from the French speaking country and we got also um, another community of French speaking country but it should be very different than the Commonwealth. I think that the Commonwealth try to involve um, really the English speaking country in many many matters, political matters, economics and I think that is a very very interesting idea. Do you think that uh, if Congo joined the Commonwealth it could have benefited more than it is now? Yes, I think, I'm sure, I'm sure that um, uh, there should be so many examples uh, even though I can't take the language when all the Congolese people were starting talking English, you know uh, if you write a book in English, you know, you should be uh, you know, the, the, the book will be sold everywhere, so that is uh, one of uh, a crazy idea. And I've been a photographer for over 10 years, yeah, so photographing lots of different events in that time, so uh, everything from, you know, you know, kind of weddings and royal weddings and events, so, so it's been quite fun. It's been quite fun. And uh, as far as the royal, royal family is concerned, uh, have you photographed the famous king of the yeah, not, um, I have photographed, not the Queen herself at the moment, this is my first time, so I'm very excited. And, uh, but I have sort of photographed the Duke of Edinburgh and Prince Charles, and the Queen Mother when she was alive, and, um, and also the, you know, the Kensington family as well. So, the so what will be the nature of your duty today? Tell um, me. I'll be walking backwards a lot. <laughs> okay. As the Queen comes in, I'll be um, just slightly ahead of her and uh, sort of trailing her as she's meeting the various dignitaries and VIPs and hopefully getting a picture of everybody and uh, so yeah I'll be walking backwards an awful lot. Yeah tell us why you're here today. I'm here to represent Antigone Barbuda for the Queen of the Open and Open Club and um, I'm the actually flag bearer of Antigone Barbuda on other occasion when it arises. I'm just here to represent Australia at the reopening of the Commonwealth Club. Yeah. And uh, are you proud to be here today? Yeah, I'm proud to represent my country. Are you looking forward to meet Her Majesty the Queen? Uh, I'm not sure if we'll meet her, but we'll get to see her walking past, so that's all right. Carry on from Barbados. Keep from Bhutan. Hello, I'm Maria from Brunei. Hey, Bhutan Nelson, I'm representing my, uh, my country, Cameroon. Hi, I'm Alexandra, and I'm representing Canada. Hi, I'm Stavros, I'm representing Cyprus. I'm Kristen, I'm representing Dominico. I'm Simon, I'm representing Fiji. I'm Mohammed, representing Gambia. I'm Stephanie representing Ghana. I'm Dennis holding the flag of Kenya. Representing Tanzania. Representing Uganda. I am representing Tuvalu. Hi, I'm representing South Africa. Hi, I'm representing the Solomon Islands. Hi, my name is Simon from Samoa. Hello, Dad in Tobago. Hamilton from St. Vincent and Grenadines. Hello, my name is Yana Arnold and I'm from St. Lucia. Hi, my name is Yuanbri Highway and I'm from Papua New Guinea. My name is Sabah Manzoum, I'm from Pakistan. Hey, below bar, Karin Lee. Nigeria. My name is Rebecca, I'm from New Zealand. Hi, my name is Loris, I'm from Mozambique. These people, if they were able to visit cities like Cambridge, Bristol, London, Belfast and Newcastle, they are here with us today to share their views and the guest of honour to receive their views is Her Majesty. Queen Elizabeth II, who is the head of the Commonwealth. There are some people who have been septic 
or critical of the Commonwealth. You should remember that the Commonwealth nations have never shaked a challenge at all. They have faced up their challenges. This has been seen, for example, through the collective stance against minority rule in South Africa in the 1970s and in the 1980s. This led to the collapse of regimes in Rhodesia, Namibia and especially the apartheid South Africa. Uh, through a common language and through a shared values, the Commonwealth are also able to explore a diverse range of issues from politics to culture and from development to sport. And this has been evident in the Nkabom project. It's been a very successful day, wonderful day. You, you could see the Queen came here to open the new premises of the Royal Commonwealth Society. And uh, as President of the Royal Commonwealth Society, I'm very, very pleased with the success of the occasion. I'm High Commissioner for Lesotho, Prince Seiso Baron Seiso. Um, we're here for the opening of uh, this very new part of uh, the, 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 the society building here. It's been a very nice experience, very well, well organized. But I've been here earlier before, uh, and I've always experienced uh, this place to be a very nice meeting place where people can exchange views and ideas in, the, in, in comfort of and, and serenity uh, of London. My name is Dr. Carl Roberts, uh, High Commissioner for Antigua and Barbuda, and it was a pleasure to see the new uh, building of the Commonwealth Royal Society and to dialogue and talk to the many persons who are here.